100 mol fresh fee of ammonia, oxygen, and carbon dioxide are fed to a reactor labeled below. The conversion rate of limited reaction is 0.9. Determine the moles of each chemical species in the product stream. Step 1. Write on basis. From the problem statement, we know the basis is 100 mol fresh fee of mixture. So we can write down basis is 100 moles fat. Step 2. Draw and label flow chart. In this problem, the flow chart is already given, so we just have to write down, um, draw the system boundary. In this way, we know there's a material exchange. There's a material flow in from here and flow out from here. Step 3. Express problem statement. In this problem, in terms of each quantity label on the flow chart, the quantity to be determined are the mole number of each chemical species in the product stream. Step 4. Unit consistency. Because the basis is 100 mole fat, so the unit is mole. Therefore, we can convert all the units to mole because the mole fraction is given and the fresh fee mole is given, then we can convert that all the stream to mole. So, uh, mole fraction of ammonia is 0 0.2 times 100, you got 20 mole in the fresh fee and do the same thing to the other two species. Step 5, degree of freedom analysis. Degree of freedom is equal to the number of unknown variable minus the number of known equation. In this problem, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 unknown and from the reaction we know there are two, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 species. So 4 minus 4 is 0. Then the degree of friction is 0, which means the problem is solvable. Then we can write down the species balance. The two ways to write down species balance, molecular species balance and atomic species balance. Before we write the species balance, let's write down, uh, determine the limited reactant using the extended reaction. For last lecture, we talked about using extended reaction, Chimax, we can determine which one is limited reactant. So based on ammonia, we can assume ammonia go to completion, so in the upper stream is zero, even though in the upper stream here is not zero, but based on the Chimax, to calculate the limited reactant, we can assume just for this little part that the ammonia go to completion. In this way, we can calculate by maximum how much ammonia is used. In this case, the final Ammonia is 0 and the input is 20. And we know that ammonia is reacting because in this reaction, ammonia is reacting. Therefore, the coefficient for reaction is negative. So divided by negative 4, then get 5 mole. And do the same thing to oxygen. Oxygen is in the reactant. And Go ahead and assume that to uh, use to completion to zero and minus the input is 60 mole divided by negative 5 because oxygen again is a reactant so coefficient is negative you got 12 and 5 is less than 12 therefore ammonia is limiting reaction because ammonia is limiting reaction and the problem given that the conversion rate of limited reaction is equal to 0.9. We know that conversion rate is equal to mole of reacted divided by the mole's fat. So we can go ahead using this relationship to find out the mole's ammonia reactive is equal to 20 mole, which is mole's fat of ammonia, times 0.9, and then you got 18 mole ammonia reacted in the reactor. And then, because of that, we can find out the most of ammonia in the output stream. 
that is 20 minus 18. You got two more ammonia that is non-reactive. Then we can write down molecular species balance. The way to write down molecular species balance is input plus generation is equal to output plus consumption. Because we are uh, from the first, the second step, we know that this reaction is, we can assume that this is a continuous steady state. So for a continuous steady state process, there's no accumulation. So input plus generation is equal to output plus consumption. Then ammonia species balance. From the reaction, we know that there is no ammonia in the reactant. Uh, I'm sorry, there's no ammonia in the uh, project. There's only ammonia in the reactant, right? It doesn't have ammonia coming out from the reaction, even though there is not. There is ammonia in the non-reactive part that coming out in the output stream, but from the reaction, there's no ammonia. Therefore, we can cancel out the term generation because there's no ammonia generated from the reaction. Therefore, for ammonia, input is equal to output plus consumption, and consumption is reacted. Because we really calculate out the ammonia in the output stream, then we can verify that this equation is right. Because ammonia input is 20 mole, and ammonia output is 18 mole. I mean, sorry, ammonia output is 2 mole, and 18 mole is consumption of ammonia. So the left equation is 20, and the right equation is 20. Next, we have oxygen species balance. Oxygen is the same as ammonia. From the reaction, we know that there's no generation of oxygen from the reaction. So we can cancel out the term generation. Therefore, oxygen input is equal to oxygen output plus oxygen consumption. And the input of oxygen is 60 mole given here. And output of oxygen, we don't know. But the output of ox um, the consumption of oxygen, we can calculate that from the reactive of ammonia. And using stoichiometry, we can calculate the mole of oxygen reactive. Then the mole of oxygen in the output is equal to 60 mole input minus 22.5 mole oxygen reactive, then you get 37.5 mole oxygen in the output stream. Next, we have NO species balance. Nitrogen monoxide is in the, in the products in the reaction. You don't see that in the reaction. Therefore, we can cancel out the term consumption because there's no monox um, there's no nitrogen monoxide consumed then cancel out this term therefore we have for nitrogen monoxide input plus generation is equal to output then inputs given 20 mole plus generation you can find out by the limited reactant and the stoichiometry the coefficient for Nitrogen monoxide is the same as coefficient for ammonia. Therefore, the mole number of nitrogen monoxide generated is the same mole number of ammonia reactive. Therefore, you get 38 mole nitrogen monoxide in the output stream. Water species balance is the same as